Hello, welcome to Canada for part 9 of my F122 manager career mode, managing Mercedes and route. You join me in qualifying at the end of Q1, where we are managing Mercedes and Lewis and George are fairly comfortably through. But now into the dying seconds, we are watching Sebastian Vettel. Can he get himself out of the bottom five? He comes up to the line and crosses it and he does just get himself out but now he finds himself on the bubble again as those people are making brief moves with TV is out so is Albon and Mick Schumacher also in that bottom five and Mick Schumacher though can't get out and they're eliminated in Q1 now at the end of Q2 now and Carlos Sainz on the bubble there's Bottas and Joe Ocon at Sonoda and you can see George is in that bottom five as well Lewis looks to be comfortable George though needs to improve Sainz puts himself into first place gets himself off of that bubble and now George crosses the line at P7 he goes and now the two McLarens need to find something here otherwise they are having a double elimination here in Canada Joe's already out can Ricardo get through Ricardo can't get through and now Lando up to the line Lando can't get through Ocon can only manage P11 and Sonoda can only manage P11 getting up there and now towards the end of Q3 to the line of Charles Leclerc going very very quick purple in sector 1 and sector 2 George is down in that first sector found Tyler in the middle sector Lewis going even quicker with two personal best sectors Max so misses out on pole so does Perez Sainz can only manage P2 Carlos Charles Leclerc meanwhile has gone even quicker Lewis Hamilton can he get himself up no that was George anyway and Lewis gets himself in the to P6 when they start both of our lads behind Pierre Gasly who's on a great run of form last time I am back here had a great race we're going to be doing a two stop for Lewis though I thought about doing the same thing for George but just do a reverse medium soft soft but I decided to do the worst up with George play the long game split the strategies but then I changed my mind again and decided to go with the medium so let's go then to the race the time has come to fight it out it's race day we saw a reasonable push from Mercedes in qualifying and they'll have plenty of opportunities here to achieve a great result this weekend Red Bull displayed real promise during qualifying but will they fulfill that potential by the time they reach the checkered flag? And the weather is sunny here today, apart from a few clouds. Let's hope they remain scattered on the horizon. And each team will be hoping that fortune is on their side. So bon chance to them and their drivers for this Canadian Grand Prix. Quite a few clouds overhead as we look at the lineup on the grid. And here we've got Lewis Hamilton. With a top 10 position on the grid, this race could really go either way for them. We've got the other Mercedes here. They're in the front half of the pack, so there's plenty of potential for them. The teams are ready to go. This is it. We're moments away now at the Canadian Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. So we're racing in Canada and we need a good start, we need to get clear Gasly out early as Leclerc leads into the first corner from Sainz from the two Red Bulls headed by Verstappen and it's all everyone still as they were coming out of the first couple of corners we need to get through it in the background this is Bottas and Fernando Alonso going wheel to wheel and I think Alonso has had to consider that position and he has indeed as now we head down the straight and now Lewis are very much on the back of Pierre Gasly can he get the job done there we need him to clear him very quickly here because 
we need to get the job done. And now, to the inside, Lewis Hamilton finds himself, and around the outside of the chicane, the Pierre Gasly gets the exit. This is so frustrating, but Gasly, he's on a roll at the minute. Look, that weekend in back, he really done him some confidence. He had a really good race there, but he's blitzed by Lewis there. And now have we got the pace in this car to possibly get anywhere near the front four. I highly doubt it, but we can cling on to some hope in this race, surely. As here is now George on the back of Gasly, and can he give him the hard time? As well as Perez, you may have just seen pressurising his teammate. I don't think Red Bull appreciate that. But Lewis has started to pull away now, and this is George surely not around the outside at the final which again he's going for it. They're side by side on the exit, George just ahead by the looks of things. And they're side by side, and George looks to get the head, but there's Bottas, Bottas sticks his nose in down the inside. Three wide, just about, through the first corner, and George has got the move done, Bottas hasn't. Fair play by Bottas to have a go, but we've got both of our cars behind, ahead of Gasly. And now there's a yellow flag, and I think there's been an issue. And what has happened, this is Kevin Magnussen into turn one, and big, big lockup. And he's turned into the barrier and ripped off his front wing. So into the hairpin now. And it's Lewis ahead of George still. We've told George not to fight Lewis because they are on different strategies. Because we put George on the one stop, Lewis is on the two stop. But then we don't want to have another Saudi situation. But George is ignoring my team orders as he goes down the inside of Lewis. They're side by side. You can see there in the corner. I told him to not fight him. And he has backed off. But now, Gasly has now re-overtaken, or has he? George stays there on the inside, and George stays ahead. Wow. Nail-biting moment there. We've got away with one there. We need Lewis to push away. And give St. George some room. But in the background, there is Alonso and Bottas going at it again. Bottas defending the Alpine. And as we head through the first couple of corners, and these two again, we're still telling George to stay behind. George does look like the quicker car, but like we found out in in Saudi, they just keep matching each other's pace, even though they are on different tyres. But this annoyingly is Bottas, who's overtaking Gasly, has now overtaken George, and that is not the best idea. Maybe we should have. Let, let him through, as he also, somewhere I've missed that, has overtaken Lewis. I think I skipped on a couple of laps and Bottas has done both of them. And it's really gone to put him, we could have just let him through, we are going to box Lewis now. And I've changed my mind on strategy a tiny bit, as I was debating whether to do the medium two stop but I've kind of realised that this is turning very much into a one stop race so on lap 18 it's a long way for Lewis to take those hard tyres but we're going to box him onto the hard tyres and let him get them to the end maybe if there's a late safety car or something we can pit for another set of softs and then push like crazy towards the end of the Grand Prix but we shall see what happens out of the pits though and we've found a nice little gap for him not the best gap in the world he has got Schumacher and Vettel just up the road from him we beat out the McLaren and that's all that matters George on the back of of the guy that he's replaced Mercedes and round the outside he goes on Bottas and Bottas got no chance there that is a great great move just like his engineer says there but Bottas is come back at him because the DRS, I mean, at the time of recording, this was before um, loads of updates and, and at the time of recording this video, 
they've announced that they're not updating the game so this is really the DRS is so powerful on on this game and it's so hard to get away so hard to get away as there is George re overtaking Bottas there as now you can see there is Verstappen up the road he's pitted that's how quick they were and Gasly has, re has overtaken Bottas somewhere and now George you know very much not in our race but he is pressing Max Verstappen here and he is overtaking Max Verstappen here and he has got ahead of Verstappen very much not our race but fair enough George why not go for it as this is Max re-overtaking George Russell and, and it was always going to happen but this but now he's also lost out to Gazi I think Gazi has overtaken him in the background yes he has And the two-stop strategy here, as I mentioned earlier, is becoming a one-stop. So we're going to box George now onto the set of the hard tyres. We've got him to that second pit stop. And only, what's that, seven laps further than um, we managed with Lewis and the softs. As if it, that was a double hard tyre there. I don't know if that was a glitch or something, but the Ferrari's boxing, Leclerc from the lead, and now Max, we haven't done the best of jobs for him, but I think Leclerc here at the front is going to come out of the pits, miles clear, and now George comes into the pits, and we try something different, we'll see where he comes out relative to Lewis, Lewis is nowhere near turn one in fact so he's going to come out as this is a Bottas and Alonso and he's just come out as George and and um, Gasly has just about managed that as well but unfortunately Lewis falling behind all of these Gasly, Alonso, Bottas and you can see him just there in the background but these two these are battling so hard that there's a free wide there, George has managed to get away a little bit, which is very, very good. Now through the first couple of corners, Bottas, Alonso, Gasly, Hamilton lingering in just about, but this is Alonso now, he's caught at the back of George, and he's going to try and go to the outside, is he? No, he's too far back, we're going to tell George to overtake. And the same for Lewis to try and overtake, overtake press. the overtake press. Alpha Tauri and Alonso does get through and past George and Debatte and then 4P5 so there's some big points here not only for us when we're really struggling but for Albine and Alpha Tauri and also Alpha Romeo as well as we tell George to charge the pack this is a very long gap very long queue, very long train in fact for for P5 and George's mind about clean air as he struggles to overtake him on so I think he just got ahead and then lost out again and Lewis is struggling to get past um, struggling to get past Gasly as well so this isn't going well Alonso looking like he's starting to pull away and Bottas now is coming back at us he always seems to be there this season Valtteri he was a bit quiet for a couple of races but the last couple so Baku especially he's been right there as well Bahrain was the big one on the way back in episode one but he has stayed ahead George of Bottas and yeah that's that's good as he is going to bring really overtake Alonso there great great move by our young Brit and our future of the team but Alonso it wouldn't be long before Alonso is coming back at back at him around the outside tries tries Alonso and we're side by side. Is there still a gap? And 
George stays ahead, but Bottas now has seen a chance and goes round the outside of Bottas. There's a yellow flag. What has happened? And it's George. George just locks up. George is cracked under absolutely no pressure. And that is so frustrating. George now out of it. And now it's Lewis to get himself on lap 39. Through and he's got ahead of Alonso. He's got ahead of Gasly. And now Alonso comes back at him as Bottas starts to get away. But that's so annoying for George. He was there, he was doing alright, but now as there's a lock up for Bottas, Bottas has done what Magnussen did. And now that's mean it's a straight fight between us and Alonso and Gasly in the mix as well. George is gone now, he really, really struggling. Not really in the race anymore as we come back at Alonso around the outside. Great, great move there. As Gasly now pressurising the Alpine, trying to go down the inside of seat that he really may really have one it's day, possibly. He has it in real life for next season. But round the outside, Gasly overtakes the Alpine. And now Gasly overtakes us very, very annoyingly. And you may have seen in the timing tower that everything's flicking far passed very quickly it's a little glitch that happened for some reason we really take Gasly and Alpine and Alonso have done the same thing there is so much changing this is such a hard battle to keep up with and as we carry on now on to that 57 down the inside Lewis re overtakes Alonso so much is going on. This is only a battle for P5 in this race. It's a great race as well. As well as up front, they're all quite tight. It looks like it's a dominant Leclerc victory so far in the bag, but there's still 13 laps to go. And now all over the back, Alonso re overtakes us. And now Gasly is having a little look, but Gasly's too far back to do anything in this, in this round of the battle. And now Lewis is going to try and re-overtake Alonso and he blitzes Alonso into that chicane. Great move out of the third DRS zone on the track. And now Alonso around the outside beats. We tried to skip on but still there's battling going on around the outside. Alonso's lost now. Gasly's done both of us. What a move by Gasly. All, all three of us are not willing to give up and lap 59 not many to go back down the inside we go on Alonso retake that position and with just two laps to go now this is on lap 69 just one lap to go after this and Alonso re overtakes there is there there's a yellow flag is there gonna be some drama on the last lap what has happened here there's a spin there and this is Carlos Sainz from P4 has he made contact with the Aston Martin he well might have done spinning at turn two and now this is it on lap 69 Lewis tried to get round the outside once I came across a bit late there that was a bit dodgy but anyway he parked it and now Lewis is gonna have a chance into turn one he's just a little bit too far back He's up the inside and it is making this last lap of the Grand Prix very, very spicy. And in the closing stages, it's now Lewis is falling behind Gasly as it's the last lap of the Grand Prix going on to it. Now Gasly has got ahead of the Alpine of Alonso and look at the exit. Hamilton has got here off the final corner, he's passed. Fernando Alonso can Hamilton retake that P5 on the final lap from Pierre Gasly it's another easy Sunday for Charles Leclerc who wins yet again this season great win for him Charles Leclerc been on fire so far no one's been able to touch him it's the two Red Bull boys race each other to the line 
and Perez just comes out ahead. And now, one more DRS section to go. Hamilton all over the back of Gasly. Can Hamilton here get the job done on Gasly? He's going to pull to the inside, heading down into the final chicane. Hamilton does it. He overtakes Gasly going into the final corner. And we get P5 in the racing. Alonso's racing him to the line. But Gasly has just stayed ahead. George, after that big lockup, never really recovered. No big worries here for Mercedes. Their driver did fairly well today. There's no doubt that Mercedes have a lot of potential. Now they need to figure out how to make it work for them. Absolutely. This was very promising. And now the team will be doing everything they can to make good on that promise. That's right. And they finished the race weekend in third place in the constructor standings. For the next round, we're heading back to the heart of the UK. Get ready for a race to remember in Silverstone, the cradle of Formula One. So that's been your Canadian Grand Prix, very, very good Grand Prix. Great battle for P5, as I was mentioning earlier, a pretty easy Sunday for Charles Leclerc. There was a bit of a battle at the start between the top four, but they just flew away. Carlos Sainz with that mistake, unfortunately. Lewis going up one, great day for Alonso. Paul for actually Gasly dropping down two positions. In the they're good for him in terms of the constructors then pretty comfortable for ferrari still and red bull lingering we are kind of we're starting to pull away now from alfa romeo who we were really battling hard earlier in the season with but we're starting to pull away but before we go then there's an upgrade that we're going to do to the rear wing as we head into our home grand prix in the next episode at the british grand prix but if you have enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more f1 manager 22 and i will see you at silverstone goodbye